Medical martial law. America under quarantine. Scary, isn't it? Don't dismiss that. Pat's two cents talking here. Listen, I was sitting in my living room this afternoon and I saw a very grim scenario. Medical martial law. Now, I was talking to my friend Marlene about it. That's what she called it. In my mind's eye, while we were talking about the current events and the coronavirus, I literally saw in my mind as if I was sitting in my house and I heard voices outside on a loudspeaker and heard helicopters flying overhead. And you could hear the voices in multiple directions, but the loudest voice was the one going down my block in the community. And the voice was telling everyone we are under martial law. Everyone had to stay in their homes. No one could leave. They could be arrested. They were not allowed to leave their homes. The announcement was going up and down the street on loudspeakers. And in my mind, I was going to the window to see what all the, all the ruckus was about. And I saw soldiers and I saw a big car and it was going up and down making the announcement and I heard the helicopter overhead. And I could tell that the soldiers were getting ready to occupy our public community streets to keep everyone in their homes. Now I am hoping that that was nothing more than my imagination. I want to make sure that I don't hold it and keep it to myself in case that is right around the corner. Let me caution all of you, buy as much water as you can hold. Not only regular bottled water, get distilled water, also buy alkaline water. As my friend Lynn mentioned, buy baking soda, not baking powder, but baking soda. A certain amount with a spoonful and a glass of water will help boost your immune system and change your pH balance so that you're not so susceptible to what's going around. Buy as much food as you can. Store it up. Don't treat this as a scare tactic. Don't over-spiritualize these times. You can make it hard on yourself or you can make it easier on yourself. They're even suggesting now that people, when they go out in public, wear hazmat suits. Now, if it's getting that desperate and that dangerous, it is a good idea to hunker down in your house. If you can do your work at home, do it at home. There are a lot of things the internet can supply, but we don't have to go out of our house. So be very careful, everyone, and be prepared to be on lockdown in your homes, in your communities, on your streets, in your neighborhood. Because I do believe that a medical martial law is getting ready to come into play. And do not be surprised if mandatory vaccines turn out to be the introduction to society of the mark of the beast. Be prepared.